So how close is too close when it comes to oil and gas? That debate is playing out in communities all across the Front Range. And it comes with strong opinions on both sides. Good evening, everybody. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Ann Trujillo. This November could be up to you, the voters, to decide. A new ballot initiative wants to push new wells out of neighborhoods. And tonight, Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski takes a 360 view of this very controversial topic. The crash between growing Colorado communities and the oil and gas industry is reaching a tipping point. I love Colorado. It's my home. My community is threatened by fracking. At the center is Initiative 97, a state ballot measure to increase the setback requirement for new wells to 2,500 feet from a home or school. The current setback is 500 feet from a home and 1,000 feet from a school. This initiative is economically devastating to the state of Colorado. But like anything with oil and gas, there are two very distinct sides. So let's go 360. It's so important to me. I'm, I'm basically obsessed with it. Starting with Initiative 97 organizer Suzanne Spiegel. There are many dangers associated with oil and gas in your neighborhood. Her view is not enough is being done to keep communities safe from fracking and sees the increased setbacks as a necessary step to protect the health and safety of all Coloradans. Your risks of getting things like cancer are extremely elevated. Um, the air that you breathe, even if it's not in your neighborhood, um, this is the health of our state and this is the future of our state. Before we get to the flip side, a quick field trip to Cheeseman Park to show you what a 2,500 foot setback looks like. Let's take a walk. <laughs> oh, we're about halfway there. All right, so that was a hike in boots, but Initiative 97 pushes the setback all the way back here, almost the entire length of Cheeseman Park. From schools, homes, playgrounds. On the other hand, not only would it cost thousands of jobs, opponents argue these restrictions will bring oil and gas development in our state to a halt. But um, it would cost m almost billions, actually, in economic impact. Karen Crummy with Protect Colorado sees the measure as a job killer that will decrease future state revenue from severance taxes and cost local governments millions in property tax revenue they get from the industry. This is destroying an economic dr driver in the state. Crummy also says Colorado has some of the strongest regulations in the entire country and discredits health and safety concerns. In our opinion that we are taking the health and safety of the public very seriously and we feel that we are protecting it with the rules we have in place. But the other side isn't buying that. I just see that this industry doesn't care about Colorado at all. Um, they just care about, you know, making money. Elected officials haven't been able to get anywhere on this. Dems try and propose legislation leaning towards environmental concerns, only for it to die somewhere in committee. Republicans are trying to keep to a pro-business stance, allowing for oil and gas to continue to develop resources, pushing off added regulations that would threaten Colorado's growth. The reason that we're doing this as communities is because we're our own last line of defense. So what's next on this 360 journey? Our polling shows that we have overwhelming support from Coloradans on this initiative. The organizers behind Initiative 97 have until August to get roughly 100,000 signatures. If they do that, it goes on the ballot this November. And then it will be up to you, the voters, to decide the future of oil and gas in our 90 state. Ninety percent of all the surface area for oil and gas development down the road would be off limits. Now, these same organizers tried to pass a similar measure two years ago, but they failed. Ann and Shannon, bottom line, with so much at stake, you can expect a lot of money mm. to be spent on both sides oh, yeah. trying to sway voters, and you can bet we will keep on top of that and keep you posted. Definitely interesting Thanks, to watch. Jen. Thanks, Jen.